Welcome to Dental Tuition Lecture Series. Today, we are going to discuss on topic standardization of endodontic instruments. Before moving towards our main topic, let's first know about the endodontic instruments. The endodontic instruments we use during endodontic treatment are files, reamers, and other instruments, according to the need of the treatment. Now going towards our main topic, which is standardization of endodontic instruments. We have, Ingle and Levin who made a suggestion regarding endodontic instruments manufacturing which is, a definite increment in diameter as the size progressed while maintaining, a constant taper of all blades regardless of size. And, the recommendations they gave are discussed below. First one is, instruments shall be numbered from 10 to 100 and the number advances by 5 units to size 60 and the after the file number has reached 60, numbers advance by 10 units till 100. This data has been revised to include numbers from 6 to 150. Now coming towards another recommendation, each number of the instrument shall be the diameter of the instrument in hundreds of millimeter at the tip of the instrument. For example, in number 10 file the diameter at the tip is 10 by 100 which is 0.1 millimeter. In the given figure you can appreciate the tip of the instrument, whose diameter varies as the number of file changes. Now next recommendation we are going to discuss is that, the working blade shall begin at the tip of the instrument, which is designated as D0, and the blades shall extend 16 millimeters from the tip of the instrument, which is terminated as D16. Now proceeding towards next recommendation, the taper of the instrument should be present, which should extend from the tip of the instrument which is D0 to D16. D16 is the diameter where the blade ends. Now moving towards another recommendation, the increment for the taper should be a constant value which is of 0.02 mm each as shown in the figure below. And this taper needs to be 0.02 mm in the instrument regardless of its size, that is it needs to be constant. And now discussing another recommendation, the tip angle of the instrument should be 75 degree plus minus 15 degree as shown in the figure. And comes another recommendation, which is, number 6 and number 8 have been added, as shown in the picture. These were added for increased instrument selection. And comes the last recommendation which is, instruments handles have been color coded for easier recognition point we can also appreciate different color files in the picture point this certainly helps in the recognition. And here we end this lecture series. If you have any queries, please comment down below. And if you like this video then please give us the thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel Dental Tuition for similar lecture videos. And have a good day.